Philadelphia, the birthplace of America, the city of brotherly love. But right in the middle of one of the largest cities in the country is a high school whose students have a heart for the heartland. You see, when these teens leave their classrooms and books, it's all about cow pens and brooms. That's daily life at W.B. Saul High School, a farm school, so to speak, with one of the largest FFA chapters in the country. Students spend half the day in class, and for the other half, it's all ag. So, Daryl, this is no joke. I mean, this is serious hard work. Yeah, it is. It's pretty tough. We do this every day, so. Every day? Every day. We come out here, feed the cows, get the stalls cleaned, and everything like that. So you really are living life on the farm? Basically, yeah. At school? At school. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel that uh, I'm very privileged to go to the school because they give you a lot of opportunities that I wouldn't, if I went to another school like my local school, I wouldn't get. Daryl Blakey is one of 550 inner city students who choose to spend their high school years learning about agriculture. This school has inspired his dreams. Go to college and run, in, run cross country in college and then graduate and uh, have a farm one day. Have a farm? Yeah. Has this help you want to have a yeah, farm? Yeah, FFA and the school and uh, 4-H has helped me know my future and what I want. Come on, walk on. Niasia Santiago is willing to spend three hours a day getting to and from school for the ag opportunities at Saul. This school opened my eyes to what I want to do for the rest of my life. Before I didn't know what I wanted to do, I, I just had, had no clue and then I came here and it just opened my eyes to it, and I was like, that's what I'm gonna do. When these kids come to school today, you have a hard time getting them out of here at the end of the day. And it's, it's quite an experience, you know, that they learn that their food just doesn't come from the supermarket, it comes from, you know, away from here. This school is about all aspects of ag. Students learn about greenhouses, even landscape design, and a year-long course in food processing. You remember we take that little filet off here? Life lessons are learned here in more ways than one. Today, the students are preparing a steer for an inner city homeless shelter. Remember what I said about protein and how hard it is for them to get protein? The, the interesting thing about this whole program is to watch them grow from beginning to end. They first come back here and see a, a hind quarter or, or a chuck of beef. Oh my gosh, and now it's, okay, now what are we gonna make out of it? So it, it, it goes from, we love to do everything at Saul from farm to table. Saul is stiff competition. More than 800 students apply each year and less than 200 are accepted. And incoming freshmen must give up a chunk of their summer to prepare. Kids today, all day long, have told me that this place has changed their life. I think that they learn responsibility because it doesn't matter really which side they're on, whether it's the animal side or the horse side, they're responsible for caring for something and they get to see the fruits of their labor. For Principal Wendy Shapiro, the impact of agriculture is as life-changing as academics. You know what, you take kids out of the inner city and you watch them come here. It's exciting and I just think it just shows the world that kids in Philadelphia can do anything they put their minds to, to do. And I'm watching many of them be very successful. For Niasia. I wouldn't want to go to any other high school than this. And for Daryl, that success is learned from lessons of the land. So has this school helped you fall in love with farming? Yeah. Really? I can actually say that the school here. Yeah. That you fall in love yes, with farming. I fall in love with farming at this school. Well, good for you. Thank you.